Welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Miss Linda, and today's book is special because it's part of a very cool program called Read for the Record. It's a very funny story about a bear and a sandwich. It's called The Bear Ate Your Sandwich by Julia Sarcone Roach. By now, I think you know what happened to your sandwich, but you may not know how it happened. So let me tell you, it all started with the bear. The morning air was warm and bright when the bear stepped out of his den. He stretched and sniffed. The scent of ripe berries drifted toward him and led him to a wonderful discovery. After a berry feast, the bear curled up in the sunlight and listened to the buzzing of the bees. Before long, he was asleep. By the time the bear opened his eyes, the buzzing had become a rumbling. He was being quickly swept along like a leaf in a great river. The forest disappeared in the distance and high cliffs rose up around him. Once the rumbling stopped, the bear found himself in a new forest. It was like nothing he'd ever seen before. This forest had many great climbing spots. The trees were still itchy here. There was good bark for scratching, and the mud squished nicely under his feet. There were many interesting smells in this forest, but some of the tastiest ones had already been found. Leafy green smells led the bear to new fun. And that is when he saw it. There it was. Your beautiful and delicious sandwich, all alone. He waited to make sure no one saw him, not even the sandwich before he made his move. It was such a great sandwich. The bear loved it. But just as he was almost finished, he heard sniff, snuffle, slobber, snort behind him. He had been seen. The bear was so surprised that he ran out of the park and down the street until he spotted a very tall tree. From the top of the tree, the bear could see his forest. It was time to go home. The waves rocked the bear and he began to doze. When he opened his eyes, he heard the breeze in familiar branches and the birds and bugs' evening song. Well, the bear made it home just fine. So, that's what happened to your sandwich. The bear ate it. I saw it all. I tried to save your sandwich. I was able to save this little bit of lettuce here. The bear dropped it as he ran off, but I couldn't save the rest. I'm sorry to have to tell you about your sandwich this way, but now you know. Hmm. Do you believe the dog's story about the sandwich? I don't know, seems suspicious. Now it's your turn. Read The Bear Ate Your Sandwich yourself or find someone to read it to you. 
and you can always find more books at readbrightly.com. Thank you so much. Bye.